Thanks for getting cast um, in Legends of Tomorrow. Did you go into? Um, did you have to go to the casting office? What was the process like? Yeah, um, so I was cast in in LA. Um, I just went in for a meeting and a read with um, David Rappaport. And um, after that, wait for about two weeks. I got a call from my agents like. Okay, so we need your passport details. And I was just like, <laughs> I was like all right. The for, they were like, yeah, you got to go to Vancouver and kind of test for this for this show. So did that, and the rest is history. Can you talk a little bit about the scene that they gave you? Did you know what character you were reading for? Um, Sometimes they keep those things secret. Yeah, like on the Walking Dead, yeah. they never know what they're reading yeah, for. Yeah, I didn't exactly know. Um, I had a good idea because I'm familiar with the whole DC universe and comic books and being a comic book fan. So I had an idea, but I wasn't 100% sure. And um, it's like a, a scene where, where um, Victor kind of, um, Stein, Martin Stein, kind of meets my character and kind of is trying to recruit him, I suppose. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. Like working with Victor Garber and kind of figuring out how how Stein and Andy Jackson emerged. Working with Victor's <laughs> amazing. Victor's Victor's so well, funny. Gives me so many jokes. Um, <laughs> but um, the the dynamic between between Jax and Stein is that they they're at loggerheads quite a lot. Um, I mean, they're completely two different different people in the way that they think and the way that they act. Um, so it's a lot of fun kind of bouncing back and forth between each other and having little disputes and disagreements. And, yeah. As a comic book fan, when you found out that you had been cast, was it, was it like Kid at Christmas kind of thing? Oh, yeah, like I was <laughs> over the moon. I was so happy, literally ecstatic. <laughs> What was like the most surreal moment? Was it the first time you put on, like, got on set, or first costume fitting? Yeah, or? the costume fitting. This yeah. Once I got, I, I literally turned into a big kid, and I was just like <laughs> running around, pretending to <laughs> shoot. <laughs> 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 yeah, it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Can you talk a little bit about Jax's um, background? Because it seems like it might be kind of a hard sell, or maybe not, depending on who he is, to like become half of this first. So he's this ex um, high school athlete who, um, who gets injured um, and is working as a mechanic just to kind of make ends meet. Like he, and he doesn't want to be a superhero. That's his thing. He, he doesn't want to, his powers, um, but. But the, but he is a good he's a good guy. He wants to help people. So um, when the opportunity kind of arises, he steps up to the plate, um, hands up, and does his job. <laughs> Can you talk about his interactions with some of the other characters, like Captain Cold? Um, yeah, I mean it's it's funny because everyone um, like they don't always necessarily get on. You've got this this group of different heroes and. And um, and criminals even with with you know, Captain Cold and Heat Wave, and um, yeah, it's it's interesting. It's interesting how how they all kind of get on and react with each other. A lot of time travel. Has there been anything that you can say about a particular favorite place that you've been, or? Um, I mean, going going back to um to the seventies and stuff is pretty pretty fun. Um, yeah, some some interesting dress sense, <laughs> um, which is which is <laughs> which is always funny when you get to dress up and stuff. So yeah. So you guys are always trying to like blend in to. Well, depending. Yeah. On, yeah, depending. Yeah. Okay, talk about the team is so. I mean, you have villains, you have heroes, different skills. What what does Jax bring to the team? Um, and their, you know their overall mission. Well, Jax is a mechanic, so. You know, he can kind of lend that sort of helping hand at times. Um, obviously, Firestorm as well, which is always good to have a nuclear man on board, I suppose. Very helpful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. What, what are you excited about people seeing in that first, your first episode? I mean, it's just so action packed. Like, we have some amazing, amazing really scenes. And, um, uh, I think I'm just excited for people to see how, how the team kind of works together and how they all, all interact. Are those uh, mechanic skills uh, useful on a ship? We will see. <laughs> uh, I was going to ask about the stunt work you've been doing and what kind of training you've, you've undergone. Like, what are you going to try out? 
Um, there's a lot of um, wire work and flying around, um, which I love doing, absolutely love doing. Um, <coughs> so I used to be in the circus when I was younger as well, random fact there. Um, so, so I love all that kind of stuff. Can you talk about that? Yeah, I was in the London Youth Circus um, from like seven till I was 14, doing like flying trapeze, acrobatics, tightrope walking, all that kind of stuff. So, so I come from a pretty active kind of background. So. Did, did, they, did the producers know this when mm -hmm. you were there? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Still got your skills? <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. A bit rusty, but some of it's like riding a bike, really. Yeah. Um, really forget. What's the most challenging aspect of flying Jack? Um, the most challenging aspect. Um, I don't know how far I can make it back. I mean, I obviously read a lot of comics. I'm not sure challenging. What's really the, f the, the most fun <laughs> is getting to, to become a completely different character to, to myself. Cause for one, he's American, which I am not. <laughs> as you may have or may not be able to tell. But, um, but that's really fun. I always love putting accents in. I feel when I do, when I accent, it really um, transforms into a different, different person. So that's a lot of fun. Being, being a fan of uh, The Flash, uh, you, you saw Robbie, obviously. Is there any of his mannerisms as Firestorm that you wanted to incorporate? Um, not really. I think that I mean, um, Robbie's uh, Ronnie Raymond and Jacks are very different characters. Very different characters. Um, and I think that's nice seeing a whole new version of of the of Firestorm. I just meant like the the fusion version, which is weird. You know, when they're together, uh, Stein. And <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's cool. Is it different? Is he going to be like a different than the... Um, yeah, in some, in some ways. I think some things will stay the same, of course, because it's kind of, that's how they kind of merge. And, but, but I definitely add, add my own kind of little things to it. So, yeah. Is it difficult to do an American accent? Or is there any... Oh. Go ahead. Yeah. Is, is it difficult to do an American accent? Is there anything that is particularly like troubling um, when you try to say it? Yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's yeah, it's, it can be difficult. But I feel I feel like um, growing up in England, like our TV and film is so saturated with American shows and stuff. So you kind of just pick it up. Like you you hear it all the time. So it's not too too bad. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.